Welcome to my channel, everyone. For those who are not so new, welcome back. This video I'll be talking about my experience with racism. Um, the racism, it wasn't my experience, but it was directed to someone. Um, and I was in the background just looking at the situation. Last year, I had decided to do a four day trip in Portland and when I was I was passing through halfway through one day and I found out like I was passing and I heard and I heard that the, one of the conductors said Port Antonio Port Antonio so I was very I was very curious I was, so I stopped and I asked you know where is this bus going and they said Port Antonio and then I found out I could take one bus from halfway tree directly to Port Antonio the last time I had to take three vehicles or maybe four vehicles I don't remember but it was very long and I didn't know that you could just take one bus from Port Antonio directly to halfway tree. Anyway, I don't remember what happened that day, but for some reason I went there very late to get the bus. And if you know how the Jamaican system set up going on taxi, you would understand our bus. You would understand that. At certain time, like within peak hours or as it gets getting late, you have to fight to get vehicles because they're not very, um, they're not very frequent. So, especially in, in certain roads, especially when you're going a very far distance. So, a bus like Port Antonio is going to be difficult to get bus. So, when we were there waiting, a group of white people came there. They were young, about 18. Yes, I'm specifically saying white people because they had different complexion. Travelers, they were different travelers. They're coming in to, to um, they wanted to go to Port Antonio as well, and they decided to choose public transportation. Now, they were there waiting like everyone else. And um, eventually, like after maybe half an hour, a bus came up. And we were all there rushing to go into the bus. Rush to get into the bus, the bus eventually got full and we were still standing in the passenger area, like the way, the, the, the path where the passageway to go into the bus. Bus was filled with people sitting down and standing up. And it just so happened that the group of travelers were standing in the bus as well to get in, like everyone else. And you know the conductor, she was a female, it's the first time I'm seeing her, I don't know where she came from, but she was saying that you know we all need to come out of the bus to to um so that she can she can fool it up like she, she was telling the extras to come out of the bus right and then someone in the group like that was sitting down said run out the white people they were for the bus run out them 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 a hold up the space and then the the um the female conductor now she started taking on the travelers and she was saying, Oh no, come on for the bus, Ray, Ray, Ray. And she had like a bunch of expletives. Come on for the bus, we don't like, you know, go on back where I come from. And it got to the point where the travelers got so upset, white people got so upset that they were, they eventually came off and they were all crying, you know. and. I got mad. I was like, you, you cannot be, you cannot be saying this to these people. If you are planning to travel and go to someone else, another person's country, you have to assume that it won't be the, a country with the same complexion or of the same standards or the same values that you have. You can't expect that you want, you, you want people to come into our country. You want to go to our people's country and you don't want anyone to come into our country. I took them on then there was this other guy outside that took on the, the conductor girl and then the so it was it was a whole heap of you know cursing in the bus back and forth between the conductor the conductor the passengers in the bus and the ones outside and the travelers they're crying and you know it got so bad that we had to call the police because what was happening is that the conductor girl got um, irritated and she 
she literally turned to these travelers and she told them point blank she said me not like you know on a guam back on the country that's exactly what she said right and one of the guys got upset he was jamaican he was passing but he was coming from work or whatnot and he went to the police station and he came he came back and i, I don't know what happened but the, the, because because he informed on the girl or the, the conductor she she went away for a piece of board i guess to, to hit him and it just so happened at the same time when he came back when when she she came back the police was there waiting for her to come you know because he wanted this and it was so bad that um another lady that was standing there observing the situation she told us that she had a friend who was a bus driver and he would offer to drop them all to portland um so they wouldn't have to go through the whole experience that we have and you know why am i telling you this and this is this is for the travelers who are coming into the country i mean if you decide to go to the other method of of traveling by by going with the 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 hotel stay and the guided tour you might not at all experience ex have this experience but if you decide to go with a different method of traveling by using the local bus or public transportation it just just bear in mind that you might have a situation like this it's not going to be it's not going to be it, it might never happen but just in in the event that it happens just bear in mind that it's just that one spoiled apple or that one spoiled grape you know you most of the times or you or whenever you come you will always have a great experience but there are cases or there, there are days or there might be a situation what you might enter with something similar to this so i'm just telling you now that just when you're traveling just keep, the, keep that in the back of your mind that you might experience that and when it does happen you know just don't even don't even pay any attention to it because there's just one person out of the entire batch and chances are wherever you go you have a great experience but just bear in mind that there is just always this one person that will just disturb your day so that is my story with experience with racism in jamaica i honestly didn't know that we had that type of experience because i've been here 20 something years and I have never ever experienced that and it was I was very surprised you know that people that that someone existed in Jamaica with that belief system that you know um, they feel so strong against people of a different of different color and it to me it's very strange because it's normally the other way around and to to have that experience firsthand with on the flip side was very interesting you know so just bear that in mind and let don't let that ruin your day or ruin your trip and just brush it off you know and move on because there are so many other experiences that will outnumber that one bad experience so yeah that's it and this is today is tuesday no today is wednesday and the reason why i'm publishing it today is because i didn't publish the one yesterday but tomorrow, which is Thursday, I'll be going back to the regular schedule and I'll be posting my next video on Thursday, which is tomorrow. So keep that in mind and see you tomorrow.